Ready. Play. Here, here, first of all, congrats on the win. We saw you stepping up a lot with the forehand, being really aggressive. Is that one of the keys uh, for watching your best version, being that kind of aggressive player who takes control of the base and dominates the, the game? Um, yeah, I definitely think that's the right way to go. Um, that's you know how I'm most effective when I play, and I think I I am playing a lot better when it when instead of just you know defending, staying in the back and waiting for something to happen. And plus, I think the way tennis is played today, it's more you know everybody's trying to be aggressive, trying to come in. So I think it's definitely the right way to go. Hi, Misha. Um, the first set, to me, you seemed like the better player and Lorenzo did really well to win the tiebreak. How easy was it to stay positive having had so many chances in the first set uh, to then keep positive? Uh, it wasn't easy at all. Uh, I wasn't positive <laughs> after the first set, but you know, I, um, you know, I knew that if I wanted to have a chance to win, I had to you know, switch the mindset. And you know, especially now when you play for so much, you know, you you know you're gonna give everything you have. So it definitely wasn't easy, but you know, I'm pretty proud of myself that I was able to pull it off. Just following up on what you said, how different is playing a Davis Cup compared to a normal ATP tour match in terms of changing the mindset, you know? You lose the first set, you know it's tough, but you're playing for your country, you're playing for maybe much more than what you are used to be in a tip so. so is that the sort of extra gear that you have to, you know, push in order to give it all for your country? Um, yes, I think it definitely gives you extra motivation, you know, extra energy to pull it off, you know, because, you know, you're fighting for everybody and not just yourself so I think that kind of energy always um, you know always brings out the best in you and you always see some crazy matches in Davis Cup so everybody feels it and everybody always tries to bring out their best when it matters. Hi Mimi, um, how do you explain to um, what were your expectations coming into this week? Because I know you came in off the back of a few losses, like maybe some people were expecting Jero to be number two. Like, were you expecting to be number two from the start? And just sort of how, how pleased are you with, with the level of, of tennis that you played in these two matches? Um, I mean, obviously, no. The, the plan from the start was that I'm going for doubles. So, um, but yeah, then ultimately, you know, I showed good level in the last few weeks that we practiced, you know, and everybody, everybody thought and agreed that, you know, that I should get that opportunity. And I'm very thankful that I was able to, you know, play the way that I did the last two matches and, you know, um, kind of give back to them as a, you know, as a thank you for believing in me. Questions in Serbia, please. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.